Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. In this video, it's a quick one. I want to talk to the Muslims in the audience. I want to have a challenge to all Muslims. I don't think there are answers to these questions I'm about to ask you about your faith. I think they show that Islam is false. I think they show that Islam does not have answers. There are doctrines that you believe in as a Muslim, like the doctrine of perfect preservation, that Allah has preserved his text completely and perfectly without issue. I think these are in error and I want to demonstrate that to you today. So let's start. So the first question is, according to multiple hadith, it is clear that Muhammad recited the Quran in multiple modes. In fact, he recited them in seven modes. These are called the Aruf. My first question is, what are the Aruf? Can you please explain to me exactly what they are using the Quran or the Sunnah of Muhammad? Second question, regarding the Aruf, what do they apply to specifically? When Muhammad revealed the Quran in seven different valid modes, all of which are Quran, are these different modes of which there are seven, do they apply to different surahs, seven of which are valid? Are they applying specifically to different ayah, different verses in the Quran, and the different ayah that is valid in seven different modes? Which is it exactly? Can you point me to all of the different ayah in the Quran where there is these different seven modes of recitation? And can you show me exactly which is which? Question number three. If the Aruf, the seven different modes in which the Quran was revealed, if these modes are no longer around today and some have been lost, say for example, six out of seven different Aruf have been lost over time. Explain to me how that wouldn't mean that roughly approximately 85% of the Quran has been lost today. Question number four, can you prove to me that we have a way of knowing that Muhammad agreed and accepted the idea that the Quran will be canonized into seven different canonical readings by Ibn Mujahid in the 10th century. And then later on, it will be expanded from seven to 10 in the 15th century by Al-Jazari. Can you demonstrate to me that Muhammad knew this would be the case and approved all of these different canonical readings? Question number five. Can you take all the 10 canonical readings of the Quran, the different Qur'at, can you take them, the ones that were established in the 15th century, can you take them and demonstrate to me that they are all Tawata in chain and that they are all mass transmitted in such a way that it is beyond a question of doubt that Muhammad said each and every one of these 10 Qur'at readings. And finally, question number six. If the word Qur'an means recitation and the Qur'at are just different recitations with different Arabic words of the Qur'an, then why is it not valid to conclude that there are 10 different canonized Qur'ans? These are my questions for you Muslims. There are no answers to these because scholars today still debate what the answers to these are. There are variants in Arabic that we know about through manuscripts and through just even Islamic history that show the Qur'an was not perfect preserved. This is a man-made lie that Muslims believe today because it is propagated by their own scholars. Looking forward to see how Muslims can answer these questions. I look forward to seeing the comments. My guess is that there largely isn't any answers to these questions, but merely speculation and guesswork. But God bless. Come to Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.